Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring Hot Standby Router Protocol, otherwise known as HSRP. It's a Cisco proprietary uh, protocol used to uh, basically uh, detect outages very quickly in networks and pro uh, provide a quick failover and redundancy between uh, links. So what we're going to do here in this example, we're going to configure router 2, 3, and 4 uh, to run RIP between its directly connected interfaces. And then we're going to configure router 1 with the default route. Um, HSRP is going to be configured on router 3 and router 2. So stick with me here. should be a good uh, session. Uh, we're just going to do basic H HSRP, and I'm just going to show you how to configure it. Um, all right, here we go. So what I'm going to do first is get into these routers and I'm going to set up um, all the links. Should just take a second here. Let's go ahead and do router 4 first. Router 4 FA00 is connected to Router 2, so that's uh, the 24 uh, subnet, and we're going to give it IP4 with a slash 24, and then no shut, and then we're going to go to interface FA01, assign it to IP address 192.168.3 or 34.3. I'm sorry, 34.4, and do no shut. And next thing we're going to do is just go under RIP, and we're going to run version 2 RIP. Allows us to send the subnet mask information uh, in with the routing updates of RIP. We're going to do no auto summary to allow the uh, subnets to not be clad. Uh, classified at the uh, network boundary. Um, also, use the network statement within RIP to advertise these networks, 192.168.24.0 uh, and 34.0. So if I do a show IP protocols, you can now see that I'm routing for those two networks, 24 and 34. Okay, let's go to router two. Configure it. I see that 00 on router 2 is going to uh, the switch, which uh, the switch we put in uh, VLAN 1 along with router 3 and router 1. So they're all in the same VLAN. Basically, it's all in the same broadcast domain. Um, IP address on that is 192.168.123.2 slash 24, do a no shut, then we'll configure the FA01 interface on router 2, that's connected to router 4, the IP address 192.168.2.4.2, do a no shut there, and we should be good to go, let's go to router 3, go to interface FA00, is connected to the switch again, so the IP range on the switch is 123, and the host IP on router 3 is dot 3 with the slash 24 subnet mask, we'll do a no shut, go to interface FA00, give the IP address 192.168, uh, let's see, what are we on router 3, FA01, I'm sorry, is connected to router 4, so we'll do 3 to 4 dot 3, slash 24, submit mask, do a no shut, and we should be good to go there. Now I'm going to go to router 1, do a interface FA00, do IP address is going to be 192.168.123.1, slash 24, no shut the interface. Uh, again, I have a loopback zero interface on router one, so I'm going to uh, 
go ahead and define my loopback zero interface, give it an IP address of 1.1.1.1, we'll just give it a slash 24 to make things easy. And again, loopback interfaces don't need to be admined up, they're up by default. Let's see, I think I forgot a uh, rip on, on router 2 and 3, so I'm going to go back here, do a router rip, version 2, no auto summary, then I'm going to advertise my directly con connected networks, which is 192.168.1.0, and let's see, router 2 is connected to router 4, so 24.0. Same thing on router 3, go to here, configure RIP version 2, no auto summary, then I'm going to advertise my networks 192.168.123.0 and network 192.168.34.0. And just to make sure we have redundant uh, uh, full reachability within RIP, I'm just going to go ahead on router 4. Advertise a loopback interface loopback zero, uh, zero on router four. It's just going to be IP address of 4.4.4.4 with a slash 24 subnet mask. Uh, don't forget to advertise that into RIP. Uh, go under router, go under router RIP, then we're going to do network 4.4.4.4.0. Oh, sorry, 4.4.4.0. Do show IP protocols. And there I have my networks that I'm 